Hey guys, hey, welcome back to Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, you know, being out here in Illinois, it's gonna be getting cold soon, so it's gonna be soup and stew season. So this is the first of our soup and stew series. Tonight, we're gonna be making some butternut squash in the pressure cooker. And we got this recipe from um, pressurecookerrecipes.com, and then I'll put the link down in the description block so you can go check it out. But this butternut squash, has two butternut squashes, has onions, it has uh, granny, smith apples, kale, ginger, and a whole bunch of other ingredients. So we can go ahead and get started putting this thing here together. And it shouldn't take too long. We'll have a quick taste test at the end and we'll give it a thumbs up, and let you know how good it tastes. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, first we're gonna take a, a little olive oil and uh, about a teaspoon or so, put down in our pressure cooker. The pressure cooker is already on saute so it's nice and, and hot. So we want to saute our onions first. So. so we have two onions sauteing in the pressure cooker right now. And we just want to cook those until they get nice and soft. That's a great smell with the olive oil the onions and things of that nature. You know, being from Louisiana, soups and gumbos and stews are, are a staple back home. You know, a lot of people who don't have a lot of money and things, soup yeah, is the mainstay for their meals and things of that nature. Growing up in the country, uh, well, I grew up in Baton Rouge, which is the city, but growing up, my dad and I grew up in the country, so they used to have make all kinds of soups and stews and things, chicken soup. So, all kind of beef stew and things of that nature. So this is something that uh, I was kind of raised on, right? All right, we're gonna give these onions a minute to get soft and we will be right back to you. Okay guys, uh, we're back. The onions have sauteed for about three minutes and they're nice and soft. Now we're gonna put all the rest of the ingredients into the pressure cooker, seal them up, cook them on high for 15 minutes, and then we're gonna put an immersion blender in it at the end. So this is about three pounds of butternut squash that's been cubed up. Uh, it's approximately two whole butternut squashes. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. And I tell you, if you've never peeled or chopped uh, a butternut squash is quite a, an experience uh, because th they're pretty hard and so this is uh, Granny Smith apples. Uh, it act, the recipe calls for three large. Uh, we want to have medium so we're going to put four medium in there. We're getting kind of full here. Okay. Then we have two teaspoons of fresh uh, grated ginger. That goes in there. Mm, smells great. Okay. Then we have two teaspoons of ground cumin and one teaspoon of, I'm sorry, half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So we're going to sprinkle that in there. All right. We got Two cups of kale that's supposed to go in this pressure cooker. We'll, we'll just have to kind of pack it down. And I assume that this is going to cook down. So, and then last, we got five cups of chicken stock. Okay. So we're going to slowly pour, pour that in here. And I can say once again, like I always say, we got this full to the brim. So hopefully we won't have some type of catastrophic accident. Okay. So. We're gonna lock them down and make sure you always check your seal. We double check the seal and make sure that it was sealed correctly. Okay, we got it locked down. We got it sealed. Now we're gonna cook this for 15 minutes on high. And then when we come back, we will release the pressure. We'll use an immersion blender to blend all the ingredients together. And we have some heavy cream, a little maple syrup, and a little cheese that has to go on top of it. And then we'll give it a taste test and we'll see how it works out. So we'll come back when the pressure cooker has done its job. So don't go nowhere. We're back. 
the pressure cooker has cooked the ingredients for 15 minutes under pressure. We did a quick release. So always be careful when you do a quick release on your pressure cooker because of the steam uh, be extremely hot. So we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up and see what it take, what it looks like. Oh man, that looks great. Smells wonderful. Now we got a few more ingredients to add and then we're gonna put our immersion blender to work. So we gotta add one whole pint of heavy whipping cream. That's to give it a thicker consistency. And then for a little sweetness, it says add two tablespoons of maple syrup. All right. So what I'm gonna do before we do the immersion blender is I'm gonna try to mix this up a little bit. There's a lot of liquid in here. And the, uh, the squash has definitely softened. Give you guys a close-up look of this. All right. You can see how the the squash has gotten real nice and soft in the apples. So we're gonna go ahead and put the immersion blender in here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cook this. Um, I'm sorry, put the immersion blender to work. We're gonna start off on low at first. And we're gonna try to get a good smooth consistency. So we're gonna go ahead and put this down here first. Be careful, the liquid is, is very hot but the immersion blender will grind and smooth out your, the chunkiness of your soup. It's a nice smooth consistency. And I give you guys a close up of, of what this looks like. So, Let's go ahead and uh, finish using this immersion blender to smooth this out. And once we're finished, we'll come back with a, a, a bowl of this delicious smelling squat, butternut squash soup. Give you a taste test and let you know how it worked out. So hang around. All right guys, the immersion blender worked great. The soup is nice and smooth. As you can see, there's no chunks left in it. You can see the bits of kale and uh, it is nice smooth consistency. You can smell the, the, uh, the granny uh, apples and things of that nature. And we took a little taste of it and it tastes fabulous. We're gonna go ahead and fix a little bowl of this and have a taste test and go ahead and uh, call this a wrap, okay? So, get our ladle here, get us a little bit. Now, the recipe says you can use a little cheddar cheese on top of your soup. I'm not a big cheddar cheese fan, so I won't put any on top of mine, but I'm sure the wife and my son will because they love cheese, okay? So let's go ahead and have an on-camera taste test. It is extremely hot. This is some very good soup. I can taste the apples, the smoothness of the butternut squash. You can't taste the kale, but I'm sure the kale is there for some nutritional, added nutritional value. You may need a little salt to taste. It depends on your preferences. But all in all, this is a fabulous butternut squash soup. So this is gonna go well during the winter time to keep you nice and warm, okay? So that's about it. That's all we have time for tonight. As we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire, and there's fire, then damn it, it just might be a barbecue there. So get yourself a pressure cooker and fix yourself a little soup, okay? See you around the smoker.